Hello guys, this is Nicholas Bloco and this is episode 8 of my Let's Play series. And yeah, there hasn't been an episode for a week or so because I've been really busy. So yeah, what I've been doing lately, I've been collecting villagers and I was breeding them. And yeah, <laughs> then I just built this and I call them farm. So yeah, it's working pretty nicely. We get one iron golem uh, approximately every six minutes. And yeah, this is pretty good. So here we get a victim that is perfect for showing off. So he gets, um, uh, he falls into this hole. Then a water stream pushes him into this lava where he gets weakened. Then we get a stair and another water stream with another lava where he gets weakened too. So yeah, how do we kill him? Well in this dispenser you can see right there we get a lava bucket which we can trigger with this button. Oh it's lagging, I'm sorry for that. It's because of the snapshot I think. And down there you can barely see the dispenser. Right there. There we get a watcher bucket in, which will flash the items in this corner. And there is a hopper, which brings all the items into this chest. And you see, I've been gathering some iron. Uh, just two hours or so. And it's working pretty nicely. So let's just turn on the water. So now it is on and lava to kill him and he's dead so let's turn the lava back off and in here we can see more iron and more flowers this is a design by docm77 I uh, watched his tutorial. It is really really nice, but it's also pretty long and If you want to build something like this in your world Better think before you do it So yeah That's basically it um, I will link a tutorial in the description because I don't want to go in further with explanations and so on. Um, but in here we get two villagers each which are breeding in each of these boxes. And where did I get them from? Well, I didn't transport them through the nether from the village we got over there. Wow, laggy. I just was smart and got them from over there, from our zombie spawner. Then I uh, collected blaze rods and the nether. <laughs> Although I'm afraid of blazes, so I'm really, really brave. Um, yeah, I just weakened them and gave them a golden apple and then I made an infinite villager breeding cell. And in here, we got a little guy who is offering a pretty good deal, I would say. Now I come here. He wants 10 emeralds for a diamond pickaxe. So, I know that emeralds should be rarer, uh, more rare than diamonds, but in my opinion they aren't. We have seven already. If we get three more, we would be able to... Oh, another iron golem is coming in. Perfect. Um, we would be able to trade with him and get our diamond pickaxe back. So what do you think about that, guys? Is that good? Or isn't that good? I don't know. So... Please leave a comment if I should do this. Oh yeah, and here's the tunnel. Where... Oh, why is it lagging so badly? Is it because of the snapshots? I really don't know. So anyways, I got him from over there. He followed me. I just walked in here. 
and then I use minecart tracks to transport him or them into these boxes. Really time consuming. So yeah, let's <laughs> let's get into detail wo detail work a bit. I added lights here. Um. <clears throat> with trip wire behind them on the block the block gets powered and then the lamp goes on pretty simple the iron golem falls onto this trip wire and triggers the lamp to flicker one time it's just a little gimmick but I think it's pretty cool and yeah we get two layers of spawning cells so one is right here and then there is a roof with another one on top and that is basically it for that today I just wanted to make some cosmetics around this little thing here nothing big because it's lagging really hard I really don't know why and I hope it's getting better I hope it's not because of that thingy bingy here but I think it is because of the cow farm there because um, every time I walk by there I get a huge frame drop and maybe we have to slaughter some cows I don't know yet so anyways I will place some stairs here to make this place look a bit more nicer and oh then I will be lag <laughs> uh, <laughs> then I will be back okay guys that we at least have done one thing in this episode I'm searching for a bit of wheat because I found a pretty nice trade which offers 21 wheat for one emerald or one emerald for 21 wheat I'd better say so we don't have any here, maybe we have some at the cow farm and I knocked uh, out all the doors here because I don't know if they interfere with the uh, artificial villages so I better leave them out until I know that I can replace them again so we got 62 wheat, okay. I think that could be enough for three more emeralds, but I don't know. Okay, the iron golem farm is making me laggy. Now I know it. Maybe that gets better in the uh, in Minecraft 1.5. And I would really love if my birds now would shut up. Right, they... Oh, dang it. They are not in here. Nope. I'm in the wrong... In the wrong house here. Let's replace that there. And get out as quick as possible no oh, fuck <laughs> I'm sorry let's replace that real quick with a snow block and then get over to the other cell where we found or where I found that trait Yep, there it was. Um. <clears throat> there we go. He wants five diamonds for one emerald. I would do it if it was the other way around, but not like this. Ah, here we go. Judge. No, <laughs> are you kidding me? One wheat is missing for one more emerald. 
Okay, wait. Oh, he is transferring. What is he offering? One emerald for seven apples. Screw you. Okay, I get one more wheat. And then we'll trade again. Wow. I hate these lags. Come on. Do it. You see it's lagging every time I go by this cow farm. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Not good, not good. Oh yeah, and here's my brewing table, my brewing stand. And here I have some ingredients for the drinks, for the potions. Drink is something other. Yep, there we go. One bone for the wheat. For the one wheat we need. <laughs> Come on! Oh, you stupid! I think it doesn't grow that fast because I'm currently playing on 04A because um, 07A is making me lag more, I think. So I downgrade it, but it's still not real good. So now grow. Good. Let's replace that. That's also just a little gimmick. I like gimmicks. <laughs> mm -hmm. And let's get back up there. Back up there, I said. Almost no more dirt. I hope we can pull up there still. No problemo. And now give me my emerald. Thank you. Wait. Let's first make the snow. And then let's destroy the dirt because it often happens that they just decide to walk out or glitch out or something like this oh yeah and with these glitch out things um, I created water in this corner and this corner and this corner and in this corner so that it flows right into the middle so they can't even get to the corners and try to glitch out. And it's the same with the cows. They uh, have these hitbox issues where they grow up, they just glitch in the corner and decide to die, which I don't really like. And that is what making my cow farm not good. Right. <laughs> okay. Before I said that you should write a comment if I should do this, but no, I did it. <laughs> Dang it. What are you offering next? 23 coal for one emerald. Let's leave him in there. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I will clear out this dirt and everything till next time. Please send me. Oh. <laughs> Send me suggestions how I can improve the lag and what I can do next time, of course. So, I hope you liked it. This will be a little bit shorter episode because I have to render it now and still have to upload it. So, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>